Hi everyone, today I want to bring you a quick review of the two latest phones from the brand Infinix. And trust me, it's gonna be one of the most promising brands in the future. I guess you have seen that the models are the Zero 20 and Zero Ultra. They both have premium designs, unique features, and relatively affordable prices. If you have a budget of 500 bucks and plan to buy a phone, this video will definitely help you and now let's get right to the unboxing. We can see from the packaging of these two phones have quite different selling point. 180 watts fast charging, 60 megapixel OIS enabled front camera. We can only find out all the differences once we get our hands on them. So for now, let's start with 020. There's a special invitation to welcome you to the X Club, which seems to cover some VIP service. And then we can see a case and screen film. The charger at the bottom support 45 watts of fast charging, and we also get a USB cable and a wired earphones. Let's put these aside and move on to the Zero Ultras. Well, we get another invitation card and then here's a special gift card where you can scan the QR code with your new phone to receive a unique NFT work. Many brands tend to remove almost all the accessories from the phone boxes, but obviously, Infinix is a surprise without using environmental friendliness as an excuse. It's nice to see that Infinix doesn't remove anything we expected and we can have a complete set of accessories. The difference is that you get an audio adapter and a 180 watt thunder charger in the box for the Zero Ultra. Well, these are two brand new phones. Their designs are very different and both are beautiful. Now let's look closer to find out why we like their design. We can see that Zero 20 has a flat and sharper body design while the Zero Ultra is presented in an edge curved solid form. The back cover of Zero 20 surprisingly uses a leather-like material and doesn't collect any fingerprints. Damn, I really like this green fantasy color variant, which looks so fresh and special. While the Zero Ultra feels totally different except for the similar camera looks, the Ultra has a dreamier back cover, which as claimed is inspired by the lines of the universe called the Carmen line. These spreading lines embody the cosmic energy releasing power abstractly, and if you touch the surface, the unique 3D touch would definitely impress you. From the bottom of the phone, we can see a noteworthy difference. The Zero Ultra does not have a 3.5mm headphone jack. That's also why we got the audio adapter cable inside the box. Both phones come with a 6.7 inch FHD plus resolution OLED screen. The difference being that Zero Ultra's screen has a higher peak brightness as well as a higher refresh rate. But in fact, I could barely tell the Zero 20's lower refresh rate until I got into the screen settings. So I think 90Hz might be a better choice for a phone with a smaller battery. At the same time, if you prefer the edge curve the display, the Zero Ultra would give you a similar feeling that only flexures can have. So compared to the higher refresh rates, I think the real thing to consider is whether you prefer a flat screen or a curved one, as they are very close in color and clarity. Another difference is the shape of the front camera on the screen. The Zero 20 has a larger notch front camera because the OIS module occupies more space. And what's more interesting is that Infinix even powered the primary lens with a 60 megapixel sensor. Another surprise is that the selfie lens also supports autofocus, so it's almost the best selfie camera for a smartphone that we've ever seen by far. Based on the power hardware, we are close to saying that the Zero 20 is the best vlog phone. Well, let's talk more about this later. Both Zero 20 and Zero Ultra were equipped with dual speakers, but they have some differences in actual sound. Now let's have some music. Both phones are equipped with the power efficient chipset from NTK, the Helio G99 for Zero 020 and the Dimensity 920 for the Ultra, and the latter is very close to Dimensity 1080, which is another mid-ranger of the series powering the latest Redmi Note 12 Pro. From the benchmarks, we can see that Zero Ultra has better performance as expected, but you can only feel the difference in some heavy games such as Genshin Impact. They are really close in speed when running daily apps, 
Another reason for their close performance is that they have the same RAM and ROM storage option. As for camera system, both phones have their own strength. The Zero Ultra has an insane 200 megapixel main camera, which we only saw last time on Motorola's flagship phone and the latest Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus. As I mentioned, the Zero 20 has an impressive front camera with 60 megapixels, autofocus, and OI support. You can use it to record more stable vlogs and autofocus at night to help you get pure and brighter selfies. Finally, let's talk about battery life and charging. The Zero Ultra's 180 watt thunder charge is definitely an exciting spec. It can be fully charged within 15 minutes. You no longer need to plug the power cable into your phone to charge it before going to bed. You can finish charging in every morning while brushing teeth and washing face. The shorter charging time also gives the battery a longer life. The Zero 20 has a slower charging speed, but it can still charge to 75% in 30 minutes. And thanks to the more efficient Helio G99 chipset, the phone has a longer battery life. Well, that's all I wanted to share with you today about the, these two phones from Infinix. Basically, I think the Zero Ultra with its better performance and the 180 watt thunder charge is more suitable for gamers and mobile photographers. And then I can say that the Zero 20 is totally made for vloggers. I'm impressed with the 60 megapixel front camera with the OIS and autofocus support. That's really crazy considering it's priced at just $300. Whichever phone you choose, trust me, it is one of the best choices in their price ranges. I believe this is a good beginning. The brand is just like a rising star. They will bring more energy to the industry and of course, more benefits to the customers. If you are familiar with another 200 megapixel camera phone, the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus, you may have found that Zero Ultra shared quite a lot of new features with the Redmi model, like the industry's fastest charging and insane 200 megapixel camera. So we are working on a detailed comparison between them. Please keep subscribing and stay tuned. Thank you for watching. I will from Kismet China. See you next time.